So last year about this time we had an ice storm. All the power lines were down, trees were broke. Pretty much everybody for miles and miles and miles were without power. And pretty much nothing you could really do but wait until the utility crews got it taken care of. So I felt pretty vulnerable. Our house got down to 50. We have an old house. We ended up going out and living in the garage for a while because we got a wood barrel stove out there. So I ended up buying a generator and I'm finally getting around to uh, getting it wired into the house. I've used it a little bit here and there for little projects but I'm actually going to tie it into the uh, breaker panel so I can select which breakers I would energize if we were to have another outage for a while so I can maybe run you know the deep freeze the furnace a few lights here or there charge cell phones that kind of thing so I, I have a home line breaker uh, by uh, square D and uh, I ended up buying the square D interlock kit so um, the first thing you gotta do is the breaker that's in number two and number four you have to move down so that's what I ended up doing and I've got this breaker installed which is a 30 amp and they give you this bracket it's got a warning on it so that if somebody in the future um, is in here doing work they will see this this warning label and it's it you're unable to mo remove the main breaker without first removing this uh, bracket and likewise you can't remove this breaker unless you remove this screw which with any luck somebody will identify take the time to read this warning label and identify that this is a very serious situation so um, anyway I just had to take this screw out slide this bracket over my new breaker my new 30 amp double pole breaker and then put the screw back in to make sure that this breaker stays this breaker stays like I said, whoever in the future knows what they're doing with any luck, they won't get killed. And at the same time, a lineman won't get killed. Because if, if, if you um, energize, if you backfeed the breaker panel like a lot of YouTube people do, they have videos showing you how to backfeed through a dryer hookup or something like that. It's, it's just silly. It's crazy dangerous. And... The kit that I bought, the, the bracket came in, it was $50 at Lowe's, so um, there really is no excuse um, to be that reckless and uh, irresponsible. So I got that installed, so I'm going to get set up to mount the uh, actual interlock bracket, and then uh, I'll show you how that's done. So in the kit comes this little drill guide. And it's just got a couple 332nd holes in it that you use to line up. And it's got um, an angle on there. So that all you have to do is position it on the inside of your home line cover. And basically just slide it in position. And that will allow you to drill some pilot holes. And once the pilot holes are drilled, then you can go back and drill the the uh, clearance holes for the bolts and nuts they include with you. Uh, I'll show you that next. All right, so we're now done with the drill guide. That goes in the garbage, and I've changed from three thirty seconds to three sixteenths drill bit.
got some big burrs on it, so I'm, I'm just gonna take the biggest bit in my kit, which is three eighths, and by hand, knock those burrs off. Okay, the next thing we gotta do is we got this little accessories bag. And it comes with these shoulder bolts, which are the perfect length for allowing that interlock bracket to slide back and forth smoothly, which is right here, by the way, the interlock bracket. So these shoulder bolts will go through here, and the whole bracket will slide back and forth so that it prevents you from having the main and the uh, generator breaker on at the same time. You can have one on but not both. Okay, so then the next step is just to put these shoulder bolts. I've got the, the uh, interlock plate in place in the holes that I drilled. Now it's just a matter of dropping the uh, shoulder bolts in place. And then take the three nuts they provided. Get them started on the back. And tighten them up. That moves nice and free. Alright, so the last thing to do is I'll put this warning label on. And as you can see, I've got it all in place, and you cannot turn that breaker on with that interlock in the way. And you can't slide the interlock unless you shut the main off. And the reverse is true too. I'm not going to kill the main today. We've I've got family over. They don't probably don't want to sit in the dark while I make a YouTube video, so. I'll show that some other day, probably when I do the uh, wiring to the entry box outside, so which I have to order yet. So, thanks for watching. Bye.